Live at five. Look. Yay, live at five. Come on in. Live at Grease live at five. We have a special guest today, Megan McGinnis. Megan McGinnis, Daddy, Daddy Long Legs. Some of you may have watched her Hi. web stream. That was a big it's hit. Web stream, live uh, web stream. Daddy Long Legs off Broadway. Look at this. We got some swag. I got some um, swag out in California. Isn't that cool? So we're going to talk about Grease for a minute. But yeah, Bette Midler, people are already freaking out. Yeah, it's we in knew, a year. It's in March. Next we knew, March. Yeah, yeah. Bette Midler's coming to Broadway in a year. So you got to And Hello wait. Dolly, which I've never seen. I saw, I saw it. Well, well, it's funny because there was talk that uh, Kristen Chenoweth might do Hello There was Dolly. talk about a lot of people. And she would have been great in that role. And um, Bette Midler was kind of like, they. I haven't been hearing this for years. But I guess they, I can't, I can't believe they got Bette Midler to do a musical. I mean, like, you know what I mean? It's amazing. I, she was in Fiddler, about, right? She was in Fiddler she the was back in the, the original. day. People yeah. are freaking out that Megan McGinnis is here, by the way. There's a lot of Daddy we'll, Long Legs. We're talking we'll about the Hello Dolly. We'll get to that. We learned we'll that. get to it's her. Okay. Uh, so yeah, Bette Midler's coming in Hello Dolly. Yay, Jerry Zaks is directing. Warren Carlyle's choreographing. One of my favorites. Warren Carlyle. I love Warren Carlyle. Jerry Zaks. Um, all good. Also, uh, what else is happening? The, a Confederacy of Dunces, right? Yes, that, that Nick book Offerman. that I read. Did you read the book? John Kennedy uh, no, O'Toole. it's way too highbrow. Yeah, I'm more highbrow than you are. He is, he, there's like a stage version. There Nick, is. Nick, Offerman, Nick, Nick Offerman. Nick Offerman, Megan Mullally's husband, who you love from Parks and Rec, is, did it in the Huntington in Boston. In Boston, yeah. And it might come to Broadway. Yes. How so is that? So that's something that might happen. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, what else? Oh, there's going to be a Hamilton documentary. I know Yay. everyone loves Hamilton. There's going to be, I guess they had a lot of access to the room where it elite. happened. Oh my, I knew you were going to say that. For years before. Mm -hmm. I guess like, I guess they, you know, a lot of the behind the, the writing scenes. writing of. The writing the of the show. Of, a lot of the stuff so that we've so never on. seen. So that's going to happen. Yeah. So that's exciting. But I really want to share, I want to talk about my trip. I just want to cover my face a lot. <laughs> Sorry, I'll cover my face. Uh, I went to California and I was so excited. I got to go onto the set. It was so Hollywood. It was at the Warner Brothers lot. So fancy. In Burbank. Yeah. These are Hollywood words. And um, <laughs> Hollywood words. they're doing Grease Live uh, a week from Sunday. On um, Fox. And somebody just said, do you think it'll be better than all the NBC productions? I, I'm not going to make a judgment call like that, but I think it's going to be extremely different. It's, it, this is a whole different live beast. I mean, it's not because at all. Because they're, they're doing a live broadcast of the movie version so, of Grease, Yeah, right? first of all, it's definitely very inspired by the movie, mm -hmm. although they are adding in some things that were like Freddie My Love. They're it's adding, an amalgamation. It's hybridized. There's a brand new script that, to blend. And um, one of the things I learned, actually, Vanessa Hudgens came in today, and we shot Show People. Uh, yeah. Show People's coming back. So Vanessa Hudgens was here, and one thing that she told me is that they added some stuff. Like they, she said, they added a great scene between Sandy and Rizzo. Because I said, like, mm. oh, you're playing the bad girl. You know, you're playing the mean. And she's like, she's like, yeah, they wanted to work on a, their relationship a little bit. So before she sings "Worst Things I Could Do," there are worst things I could do, mm -hmm. and go with a boy or two. She's gonna have a nice scene with Sandy. So it's gonna be interesting because some stuff is gonna be from the movie, some from Broadway, and then some totally, totally brand new. The studio audience. That's a good question. Somebody said, where's the studio audience going to be? Everywhere. So How is what it they're possible? doing is. The, the production takes place on all these different sound stages. So there's one that we went into that had the, the, the you lighting. know, the burger shop. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, the, the what's it called? Diner? Diner. Malt shop. The malt shop. And then it also had behind it the high school gymnasium, which is used for a lot of things. Like, they're going to do summer oh. nights there. That's actually going to be indoors on the bleachers. Mm -hmm. But, like, for the school dance, they're going to fill the bleachers with audiences. People. And they're dressed like, like regular people. Now. They're going to, you're not going to be wearing costumes, whoever's going, but they're going to tell you colors to wear. They're gonna give some guidance to people. But then, there's a whole other set where, um, I don't know if I'm supposed to say this, but Ooh, Freddie My Love jealous. turns into like a USO number, which is interesting. I guess that's like a little, like dream sequence. Secrets are coming out. And so, out. I think um, Marty's gonna pop through her wall and suddenly be on stage, and there's gonna be an audience there. And then there's, and then at the end, there's a huge carnival outdoors. They're literally recreating from the movie, You're the, the one carnival, that I want, right? the Ferris wheel, the Tilt-A-Whirl, oh all that stuff. God, they're huge. loading it all. Live. It's all going to be there. And they're going to have audience members there at the carnival. And apparently there's going to be a huge mega mix at the end, Ooh. as you do. 
And they <laughs> might the ask, car they, fly? No. they said something. I don't know if the car's going to fly. I don't know, actually. <laughs> That's I didn't an ask. Question. But Aaron Tobey did say that he will not fly down during yes, Grace Lightning. He's not going to come in on a car engine. That's, not, That's not happening. That's not happening. But they said that they might actually have the audience members might do a little dancing. So that might happen. Jesse J is going to open the show. The I'm not going to completely reveal how that's going to be using because I think it's you know so cool that you're going to want to watch it but it's going to be a really cool very Hollywood opening number Love and it. so there's going to be golf carts like literally people are shuttling from one set, set to the next and what they might do this is not confirmed but I'm going to say it anyway because I'm gossiping. gossiping they might do a live second screen so that you, you can, can during commercial breaks yourself. you can go online and watch everything as it's happening so you can see you know, Aaron Tveit riding in a golf cart on a GoPro and like people changing into costumes and it's going to be really, You're really super cool. You're excited about this. You Somebody just, pom -pom? hold on, I'm still talking. I'm oh, so excited. Sorry. Can you tell I'm super excited? I'm yes. like really excited for this. Beauty School Dropout is by Boys to Men. Yes, and one thing Vanessa it. Hudgens told me is that they recorded the album. There will be an album that's coming out the same, same day. day. Mm -hmm. And she told me she can't stop listening to the Boys to Men version of Beauty School Dropout. Wow. So that's apparently going to be really cool. That's an endorsement. Julianne Hoff is dying to come to Broadway. I found that out. That I found out. Uh, we saw, you saw you saw Aaron Tveit today. Aaron Tveit came here today. For Ask a Star. That was so great. It's so great. Did you? He answered a lot of your questions. And I love your questions about yeah, cooking. Yeah, they're really specific. About his hair products. Like, really important questions. Yes. And he answered them all. Yeah. No problem. Yeah. He's the best. And I also uh, interviewed today uh, Carlos Penavega. Who I love he his. Play? He plays Kaniki. Kaniki. And he was on Dancing with the Stars. And when I was researching him yesterday, I found out that he like took all. He did a magic mic strip on Dancing with the Stars and like was like half naked. So that was distracting to see right before I met him. <laughs> Although I actually met him last week, but I didn't know he had all that going on under there, under there. But um, he he was super sweet, and we did a photo shoot with him on, at the top of Top of the Rock, and um, he's really nice. And the funny thing about him is that his name is. Carlos Penavega because he was someone saying his wife Alexa Vega was in Hairspray. Yes, his and wife Penny was Carlo Penny. Vega and his wife was Alexa Vega and she was in the ensemble of Hairspray I think towards the end of the run mm -hmm. and when they got married they combined their names. So cute. Isn't that cute? But what not else? with Aaron Tveit. She wasn't in it with Aaron, right? No, he said they did not do the same time. Tommy Kale is the nicest guy. He came out and greeted us on the set. He's so sweet. I'm so excited for him. This. And I think that he is going to reinvent this live musical thing in a really, really, really cool special way. What else? Wow. The cold cast is really sad because they're already upset that it's after the 31st, they're not gonna work together anymore. Man, there's gonna be a new song, right? We knew that. Yep. A new song called All I Need Is An Angel, written by Tom Kitt and Brian Yorkie. Amazing. Frenchie's gonna sing that. You AKA know so much. Carly Rae Jepsen. Carly Rae Jepsen. The other thing I learned, this is the final thing I'll say, is that this is, Aaron this Tevay, is not the final thing this is my say. favorite thing. Aaron Tevay is going to recreate the Danny Zuko can't play sports montage. <laughs> so, you know, like Which he, Travolta was like awkwardly playing all the, he's gonna do that live. So they're gonna have, you're gonna see him play a sport and then something else will happen and then he'll come back and he'll be in a whole different getup. So that, that's like, quick changes that's there. one of his funniest quick change moments. Amazing. So that's cool. Hi, Emily. Hi, Thank Emily. Thank you. For Adina, that, that was a question for Adina is my person. Adina is everyone's person. She's my person. Okay. Aaron is not awkward. At I'm course, out of breath by the way. You are? from all this grace. But you know what I want to do? I want to oh, talk what? to Megan McGinnis. Oh, so now after that, you're kicking me out. Can we just put this up again? Like in front of you? Okay. Yeah, but can all I right, give uh, everyone? Hi, Megan McGinnis. Megan McGinnis. Come on over. Okay, that's Bye. the best. Can I have one of those? Yeah, Nicole? they sell them at Target. <laughs> How are you? Good, how are you? Oh Mom? my God. I always enjoy you. I enjoy you. How is that Daddy Long Legs? It's amazing. I love it's Daddy Long Legs. Awesome. Did anyone watch the lot? You could, Daddy Long Legs, I mean, how cool. Okay, Regan just saw it. Can't stop thinking about it. Awesome. Yay. Hi. Yay. Hi. Yay. Look at all these people. <laughs> Look at all this love. Thank um, you. Yeah, so they did, you guys did a live Brooke, I mean, Ken Davenport, the producer, what a cool idea. Yeah, it was and such was that, a cool idea. Speaking of Grease Live, I mean, like, that, that you went live, too. You already yeah, did it. Grease Live, she already did it. We actually did not rehearse for the live stream. I mean, Grease is rehearsing for many, yes, yes. many months. Yes, many um, months. We just did our show and put two cameras in the house. Wow. Yeah. And you got to do it with your adorable husband, Adam. I did, yes. How is that go? I interviewed you guys right before, when you were rehearsing, before it started. How is it going working together? Are you still not, are you riding the subway together or not? No, we're not. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> I love it. 
<laughs> yeah, so that was one of your director's tips. Yes, it was right? one of our rules was to not ride the train to work together. I love and that. that actually hasn't been a problem because we do things during the day separately yeah. and like know. right now, you're here. Yeah. Yeah. I'm here. Exactly. So but the, the idea was to get us some separation. Yes. So it wasn't like you're constantly yes. together. And you know, it it's not without its difficulties. Of course. I mean certainly, uh seeing my husband twenty four hours a day every day is can get Broadway Mike saw you as Belle and Beauty and the Beast. Oh my gosh. First Broadway show. You were the star of the first Broadway show. That was just show. like two years ago. Yeah, that was just a couple yeah, years ago. Mike, yeah. you must be super young. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was one of the many. I mean, I, 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 I have a soft spot for little women. Anyone like that little women? How about yeah. that? How about that dying song? Spoiler. <laughs> uh, somebody saw you at Sutton Foster's concert. Oh, yes. Oh, you know Sutton Foster? Do you know that? Yes, that you Broadway guys icon, know Sutton, Sutton? Foster. Yeah, yeah, you two yeah. are you two are kind of like besties. Aren't you? <laughs> yes, uh, we sing uh, that duet, Flight, together oh, at most of our song. concerts. Is that a Craig Cornelia song? It sure is. That's a beautiful, beautiful yeah. song. You guys recorded that song. We did. Um, yeah. Michael Rafter rearranged it um, with some input from Craig, and uh, now we sing it at her symphony concerts too. Cool. Oh, I look like someone's past English teacher. <laughs> Interesting. That's super random. I do have an English major, so perhaps that's you do? a thing. I do. Wow. Yeah. Smarty pants. <laughs> uh, so Daddy Long Night is a beautiful, beautiful show. Thank I you. mean, like you sing, you know, normally you get to sing like maybe two, maybe three beautiful songs in a right? you get to sing like a lot. Eighteen. <laughs> Eighteen beautiful songs. And it's a lush, beautiful score. I mean, Paul Gordon actually cannot write a bad song. It, it's proven that he cannot write a bad song because he's written several songs for each song that's in Daddy Long Legs, and even the songs that we don't use are still absolutely gorgeous. And you've done this show. Let's talk tell everyone again how many times you've done this this show at different places. Oh, uh, 13 different theaters, so off Broadway would be my 14th. Including the West End. Including the West End. Yeah, fancy. And Canada. And Canada. Canada. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, uh, it's been an amazing journey. I think I've done almost 400 shows now, maybe 450. That's oh, crazy. A lot. But so you've seen different versions. You've seen, like, when you say other songs, you've literally sung the other version. Yes, we <laughs> have had other versions of songs. Uh, we actually should probably make a a recording of all the songs that we haven't used. Yeah, whole in the extra. Show. Yeah, whole extra recording. Yeah. Oh, that would be a great <laughs> recording, actually. Paul Gordon, get on it. Paul Gordon. Yeah, he he also did Jane Eyre, right? Yes, he Another did. Another great score. Which um, they're uh, reinventing. Oh, yeah, really? Yeah, they did a new production in Tokyo a oh. couple of years ago, and um, they're working on it again. Oh, cool. Which is so exciting because I saw the Broadway show three or four times. <laughs> did you? I did. Uh, do, you, do you find you 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 definitely fit into like period? Yeah. Shows. You look great in period costumes. You it's look the hair. Like, it's the hair. Yeah. It's just the hair. Yeah. So th this is naturally your hair. It is. What, is this what it looks like if you just like don't do much to manage it? Or I mean, it? it has product in it. it. I don't leave the house without Weedod, which is the curly hair salon. Okay. Weedod. Okay. O u i d a d. Good to know. I don't so need any it. curly haired people use it. It changed my life. Okay. Um, what would it look like otherwise? Just big, bigger. Just, yeah. Yeah. Not as defined. The curls wouldn't be as defined. Yeah. But this is just washed and then. Some product. Somebody said they loved the live stream so much they bought the sheet music the next day. Oh, fantastic! So cool. They're great songs to sing. And Marcus just said, "What show are you talking about? I missed the beginning." Oh, we are talking about <laughs> Daddy <laughs> Long Legs. Megan Hi. It was in Daddy Long Legs at the Davenport Theater off Broadway. Yep. Uh, it's Open ended a, run, so please come see us. Yeah, it's at a great little theater. I mean, not a bad seat in the house. There really isn't. It's right? a it's a very intimate theater and a very intimate show. Two people, 130 seats in the house, and we talk to everybody in the house. It's kind of cool. There's a lot of love in that show. Yeah. Not just because you guys are married in it, but, <laughs> but like the, it's such a beautiful like love story. Yeah. I've never seen the movie. It's totally different, right? Yeah, it's, it's different. It's like a musical. It's like a, it's a different kind of. It's like more of a. Hollywood. I will be honest. I have not seen it. Okay. That's but it fair. is that different that I didn't want. To yeah, see you don't it. need to see it. No. no but totally... we're doing a showing of it at our theater next Wednesday. I I knew I, that's why I knew that <laughs> yeah. there's actually gonna be like a screening of it, right? Yeah. Uh, your husband looks so looks like Ryan Gosling, yeah, I know, right? said Broadway Mike. Yeah. Look at look, look at you. <laughs> so lucky. <laughs> uh, oh, you love the movie. Oh, cool. I mean, I will see it. Absolutely nothing against the no, movie. But it's she's just that... doing this one. Right, yeah. So it's better to just have your own. We're very faithful to the novel. So I've read the novel about a dozen times. And the novel is a great read. If you have a couple of hours, pick it up. It's so Only good. a couple hours? Yeah. Is it's that long? It's such a quick read. It's oh. all her letters. Oh, good. See, someone from Australia watched the, uh, wow. the live stream. I would love to go to Australia. Yeah, you should do that. Yes, Fred Astaire and Leslie Caron are in the movie, and they are fantastic, yeah. fantastic. So obviously. Um, would you ever do another show with Sutton Foster? 
That's a silly question. <laughs> Duh. That'd be fun. <laughs> yes, that would be, be amazing. Fun. I would really like it if, you, if there was like a, a just another Little Women. I just want Little <laughs> Women Beth to come is back. dead. Would you guys do it again? <laughs> Oh, uh, well, I mean, you can just do oh, it again. Oh, not a sequel. Not a sequel. I see, no, okay. I'm aware she's dead. Although it could be a prequel. Oh, okay. You could be playing like five-year-old Beth. <laughs> that, that could work. Um, somebody watched the live stream in Canada. This is what's so cool about it. Yeah, I you know. You can it's watch so it great. everywhere. We brought the theater to everybody all across the world. Has anyone come up to you now and see the show? So they watched the live stream and then they came to see the show? Yes. In fact, that's happened quite a few times. That's cool. Um, people stay after the show. Um, we get to say hi in the lobby afterwards. And since the live stream, at least um, one person a night has said, I saw the live stream and I wanted to come and see it live. And someone pointed out, I have not actually seen the live stream, but someone pointed out that when you come see the show live, you see a lot of the... Um, the sort of dance that Adam and I do, mm. our two characters never really meet. Mm -hmm. And I believe that the camera angles would focus on each of us in our moments I see, at yes, times. Right. But there is a lot of sort of mirror images yeah. uh, that we uh -huh. do, and you sort of get like the bigger picture when you come live. Yeah. So, yeah. And you also have like a 29 trunks that you open and close and suitcase. Yes, There's or a lot eight, of... but yes. Okay, it feels, it feels like a lot. <laughs> you have a lot of stuff to open I sure and close. do. <laughs> Will the live stream happen again? No, it happens every night. At the Davenport Theater. Yes, yes, that's a great way to put it. <laughs> you don't have to see it. You can actually just see it live yeah. and watch the dance. Yes, yes. The dance Come between the dance. these two. Mm -hmm. uh, somebody wants a piece of advice for our aspiring actor. We get this a lot, but what would you? What do you tell people? Uh, well, I would actually give the advice that my mom gave me, which was that um, when I was 13 years old, uh, I was she was taking me to voice lessons every week and paying for voice lessons every week, and I wasn't doing my warm ups at home. I wasn't practicing. She said. Look, Megan, I support you. I want you to do whatever you love, but I'm not going to support you if you don't actually do this for real, if mm. you don't commit to it. Because there's no point. Yeah. You know, we're paying for this, we're spending all this time. Do it and for real. Yeah. yeah. And I think that's been great advice. Yeah, you can't just sort of like half ass it. No, it's yeah. not worth it, especially in this business. It's hard, and yeah. it's, you have to have the passion, sure, but you also have to keep going for it. Yep. That's what probably makes sense. It's all about discipline. Yeah. Discipline. Okay, Megan, thank you so much. I'm so thrilled to see you always. So happy to see whether you. Whether it's Paul. on the street or at a party or on Live at Five. Yes. So everybody go check out Daddy Long Legs Please. at the Davenport Theater. Come say hi. It's a full schedule. It's like a full like eight shows a week. Eight shows a uh, week. We have Wednesdays off right now, but we're changing to Thursdays off uh, next month. Cool. Yeah. Well, everyone, please check it out. It's a really beautiful show. And thank you so much again. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Bye.